Right, how to service a winch. Start by unscrewing the cock the top. Very carefully remove the winch. See how corroded it was inside. This was partially done last Sunday. Here are the spacer. Two. Yeah, the poles are relatively good neck because we oiled them last Sunday um, but we didn't have enough time to clean them properly. I'm going to clean them up this morning properly. And then a little plastic lug out. The shaft comes out. The water from the rain last night. So there we go, the, the winch is actually off, there are some poles in here which I'm not going to take out, these are clean, but I'm going to use my Dremel and I'm going to clean up. Best tool in the world, Dremel. I'm going to get rid of all the all the corrosive, corroded stuff. Slot back together again. Um, I've given it a good wipe. The inside of the winch gun is a lot cleaner. Grease that up. I've got a lot of the old stuff off. It's looking a lot keener. Quite a lot of the, the chrome plating is, is coming off this winch. I need to get a new one soon. Got an eight grand each. This is gonna have to last a long Okay. Do more grease, do more oil. Oil these pools. Yeah. Wipe this one up again. I have a bit of a wire brushing or tooth brushing. This I'm going to put some grease on.
bearings under the grease. Okay, so much for the winch um, service. Uh, just a view of the nav station, the new boards in place. Um, a view of the interior. Um, cushions in place still some warps here and some boards which are going to go up over there which need to be cut but you see all the cupboards are out uh, both sides neatly painted we will now uh, the dusty we will now get um, netting and put some netting up here and uh, so we can stow stuff uh, v-birth is a little bit of a mess very handy vacuum cleaner but you can see all painted um, old sail, old main sail there, and the V-berth. Looking aft, this is new, um, also a bit dusty, but you can see lockers painted, all nicely stowed away. Uh, ready to rock and roll. We need to sort out leaks around the windows. Uh, a lot of leaking coming in here. Um, and before we do the surround, we need to sort this out. So this window needs to be replaced um, that's going to be a big job because you're going to take all the bolts out take it away get it cut uh, get all the holes drilled and lined and then put it back on um, but of course we haven't got a window uh, so we have to wait for a bit of a weather window okay I think it's been something that's been puzzling us for a while is uh, moving the saloon tape well it just lifts off um, you can see there there's big metal bases and wooden bases just slip over which is quite dangerous i reckon as if the boat does go over the table is going to be loose inside the cabin um, but having said that we want to get rid of it because it just opens up gives us a bit more space to move around down below um, the problem my face is the, the bolts we that we used weren't stainless steel so it rusted and uh, my dremel try and cut them off has run out of juice uh, i'm not going to attack these two bolts here um, and see if I can get them out uh, and then yeah, with those out I'll have a little bit more space down below here so this thing weighs a ton as well um, and help to get rid of it
for an update on the saloon table removal. It's gone. Managed to get the bases out. A couple of very, very rusty bolts. Keeping it all together. A lot of rust on the floor. Uh, and rust in the bulges there. We need to sort that out. Um, the floorboards aren't too bad. What we will do is uh, this one. Obviously we'll go in there. Um, we need to screw that down and reinforce it. Likewise over there. But I like the space. I like the space that it gives us. Um, it uh, opens it all up. Make the boat a bit lighter. We just need to look for a place for our fire extinguisher, which either go there or in the corner here. Um, probably against that bulkhead there. So I want that rolling around when we're at sea. Um, yeah, all in all, a good day's work. Now I just need to vacuum, wipe up all the shit.